<laughs> There's a fun intro for you. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything Kratom. We'll get to the episode in a minute, but first. <laughs> I just love that organ part. Okay, so here we go. As promised, yesterday I said that I would report back after having capsules of Kratom. And, you know, with this existing bias that, in the past, it hasn't really worked out well for me. I mean, not like bad, but um, kind of neutral. The way I put it yesterday was watered down experience of what I was expecting. And that's kind of how it's been every time when it comes to capsules. But I wanted to approach it without bias, and I did. Well, somewhat. <laughs> as much as anyone could, I guess. But anyway, here's the update. So yesterday went really well. I took um, three 500 milligram capsules, so that's a gram and a half of white Borneo. And my day went really well. It wasn't overpowering. It's also a very small amount. Um, but what I wanted to do was try to not overdo it and not expect anything. And, it, you know, I somewhat failed at that, too, because it, I was expecting that it wouldn't be that uh, pronounced because that was my experience in the past. But I also wanted to try to circumvent that by starting off the day thinking, I don't know what this is going to do. <laughs> and you know what? It kind of worked. I, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I ended up getting a pretty nice, calming, soothing, but energizing all at once effect from the capsules. And they did seem to actually last a little bit longer but I don't think the effect was really that diminished. So I think it actually worked, you guys. I don't know exactly how. It's certainly not like something that is based in the, the standard scientific model, I guess. This is more about matter and mind. But, um, but it totally worked. I had a great day, productive. You know, the one thing that, that does occur to me now, though, is that um, I... I was taking the capsules for the purpose of, you know, not having to take Kratom later in the day and and deal with powder and all that because I was going to be all over the place and on the move and I'm very busy this week. Well, I've talked about this before, but when I have days like that and I take Kratom and then like I jump onto a meeting or I have to do, do something, sometimes the fact that like I have to be so engaged in something very specific right afterwards makes it so that I don't even realize or I don't really feel Kratom's effects. And so the fact that I was like trying to see if capsules would be diminished effect or if I would actually feel it the same as other times, but I'm doing this while being super busy and hyper focused on things made me, you know, in retrospect, I'm like, wow, I'm actually kind of impressed that I did feel what I felt because in those situations, even when I'm just doing my normal thing, I often find that like after the meeting's over or once I have a second to cool down or sit down, that's when I realize, oh, wow, Kratom's really been doing its work or, oh, wow, I don't really feel it at all. And you know, if I didn't take it, I think I'd still be sitting in the same spot right now. And um, but that wasn't the case. Like it, it actually it actually helped throughout the day. It actually hit very quickly, which also I was surprised about um, the capsules. I, I mean, I don't know how fast capsules break down, but but it was like within a few minutes after when I normally would feel it. So that was also surprising. And I'm wondering if the small amount also played a role. I don't exactly know how. And I actually don't know how many capsules I've taken in the past when I did try out capsules, but it wasn't an absurd amount. You know, it was maybe a few more than I did yesterday, but three capsules of white Borneo was more than enough to kind of rocket me through the day. And it was great. And it lasted a while and um, kicked in pretty quickly. And overall, I'm impressed. So I, I am I am open to capsules again, you guys. It's still not my favorite method, but all that aside... I think that I have checked my bias. So there you have it. There's a lesson for everyone. If you think something is a certain way, make sure it's not because you're making it that way, <laughs> which I guess I've been doing. But um, who knows? Maybe I'm right and this was just a one-off. <laughs> we'll see. I'll keep everyone updated. But um, there we have it. I need to be a little more open. All right, everyone. That'll do it for today. I got to get moving. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>